Hi everyone! Minasan konnichiwa! Do you know what a portmanteau is in English? My name is Jen and today we're going to talk about what a portmanteau is, some common English examples of portmanteau, and how the names of most Pokemon in English are actually examples of portmanteau. Stay tuned to the very end of the video for an extra bonus fact. First of all, what is a portmanteau? A portmanteau is the fusion of two words coming together to create a new word. For example, I have a spoon. I also have a fork. When you put a spoon and a fork together, boom, you get a spork. Spork is an example of a portmanteau because you're taking the word spoon and fork and you're blending them together. Now, one thing that many people might get portmanteaus confused with is compound words. Compound words are when you take two words and you put them together to create a new word with a separate meaning. For example, if I take the word snow, that's a word by itself. And if I take the word man, that's also a word by itself. When you put them together, you get snowman. Snowman is a separate noun by itself. But in the word snowman, the words snow and man have not been changed. They've just been put together. In portmanteaus, the two words are actually fusing and mixing together and usually focusing around a shared sound or a shared vowel, right? So spoon plus fork, we don't say spoon fork, we say spork. So you see how the sound changes. So some common compound nouns are starfish, starfish, homework, homework, and things like that. But some common examples of portmanteau words other than spork. One of my favorite words is brunch. Let's do brunch. Brunch is a portmanteau which is the combination of, you guessed it, breakfast and lunch. A meal that you would eat in between the time that you'd usually be eating breakfast or lunch. I like to eat brunch with my friends on the weekend. Sometimes I use a spork. A recent portmanteau word which has been very popular these days is hangry. I don't know about you, but if I don't eat, I get hangry, not just hungry. Okay? So hungry, oh I want to eat. And angry, ah, don't bother me, shut up. Okay? So hungry and angry together, hangry. Another common portmanteau that you might have heard of is emoticon. This is taking the word emotion and icon and putting them together to make the word emoticon. Another portmanteau which you might have heard of is smog. Smog. Smog is a type of pollution which is very unhealthy for you in the air. Smog is a combination of smoke plus fog. Smoke plus fog, smog. So how about the word blog? The word blog is also a portmanteau. It combines the two words web and log. Log, writing down what you're doing. So a web blog became a blog. If somebody is getting kind of angry and upset, a very common thing that many native speakers might say to that person is, chillax already, chillax. Chillax is a portmanteau combining the words chill and relax. It can also be used in the sense that oh, I don't really want to do anything this weekend. I just want to stay at home and chillax. Chillax. Chill plus relax. Chillax. Jen Stugill offers something called edutainment. Edutainment. This is combining the words education and entertainment. So you're being entertained and having fun and you're being educated edutainment. Another one which might be very common with some of my viewers is cosplay. Cosplay is costume play. Cosplay. Pokemon. That's right. The word Pokemon itself is an example of a portmanteau. It combines the word pocket and monster. Pocket monster, Pokemon. 
So, from this point forward, let's take a look at some Pokemon names in English and explain how they are examples of portmanteaus. So, we're gonna start with my favorite Pokemon, which is Psyduck. <laughs> Psyduck is a portmanteau of the words psychic and duck. Psyduck, psychic, duck. The next one I want to talk about is this Pokemon here called Snorlax. He's another one of my favorites. His name is also a portmanteau. Snorlax is snore plus relax. Snorlax, a little bit similar to chillax that we talked about earlier. Next, I want to talk about the three original starter Pokemon and how their names are also portmanteaus. First, let's start with Charmander. Charmander is a combination of the words char, like as in charcoal, meaning burnt, and salamander. Salamander is a type of lizard. So you can see how this Pokemon, fire getting burnt, and lizard, Charmander. Charmander, char plus salamander. The next Pokemon is Squirtle. Squirtle is a turtle Pokemon that squirts water. So, squirt plus turtle equals squirtle. The next Pokemon is Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is a combination of bulb. The thing on his back is called a bulb, or a bulb that you plant to grow something. So, bulb plus dinosaur. He's a type of dinosaur. So, bulb plus dinosaur equals Bulbasaur. Chansey is a combination of chance plus Lucky. Chansey. Next one I want to look at is Charizard. Charizard is a combination again of char, meaning something that's burnt, and lizard. So Charizard, charcoal lizard. The next one is Polyrath. Polyrath is a combination of polywog, which is another name for tadpole, and wrath, meaning anger. So he is like an angry tadpole who hasn't become a frog yet. Polyrath. The final one I want to do is Blastoise. Blastoise is a combination of blast and tortoise. A tortoise is a really big turtle. So you can see how he is a really big turtle, a tortoise. And blast because the cannons on his back are shooting out water. They are blasting out water. So blast plus Tortoise Blastoise. So today you guys learned what a portmanteau is, some common examples of portmanteau, and about the names of Pokemon and how they are also portmanteau words. And now it's time for question of the day. Today I have two questions for you guys. The first question is, what other portmanteau words have you heard of that you know? And question number two, what is your favorite Pokemon? Let me know your answers in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any Jens Jugyo English lessons. Mina, thank you, gambate ne, jane. Bonus time. The bonus is Pikachu. Pikachu is a portmanteau, but it's actually a Japanese portmanteau. Pika comes from the word pika pika, which means shiny or sparkly. And chu comes from the idea of chu chu, which is actually the onomatopoeia sound that a mouse makes in Japanese. I hope you'll remember portmanteaus and try and use them more in your conversations. Mm -hmm.